if Jesus was sitting here today, mm -hmm. right, would he be first healing the wounds of people? One hundred percent. Talking to them. So how does it? Talking to people while they're still wounded. How did you talk to them? Because Jesus ain't coming for the righteous. Jesus, the Bible says Jesus came here to sit with sinners. He says, I didn't come here for the healthy. I came here for the sick. I agree. But, you know what I mean? But he wiped the feet of the sick before he started telling them about his message, didn't he? No. Oh, so. It was the opposite first. Because his very first words of his ministry was to repent and believe in the gospel. Well, because I think what people get mixed up is that God never asked for a religion. He asked for a relationship. Well, and I think a lot of... How, how do you speak to God? Because this is what Scripture says, what, what the does, Bible says. What does the Bible say? That our heart is deceitful above all things and is desperately wicked. Who can understand it? How does that translate to God asks for a relationship? Not because it, it transcends into the gospel. Because our heart is wicked. Why? Why is our heart is wicked? Why is a war going on in Gaza? What is the reason why people die? Are you? I'm not going to say what your religion is. Which do you believe in God or? I, I do believe in God. Are you Christian? Are you Muslim? Or I'm Muslim. Muslim. So, from the Quran, what is this? What is the reason why people die? What is it? What does the Quran teach you? Because their uh, lifespan ends. Why? Why did? Why did? Why would God create you to die? This life is a. This whole life is a death. I don't, this whole life is a test for me to pass to the hereafter where I'll get rewarded in heaven. So, mom. Why would God well, create you to, to suffer in this life? Right, that, perfect, that's my question. Why, why, what is the purpose of this? Why is all this stuff going on? I mean, but everything dies. Yeah. Right, why? Why does everything die? Everything is a Good. test. Here. Good, trees, plants. But people are dying horrifically. People are dying by disease. People are dying by murder. Like you know what I mean. Everything is a test, right? So some people die prematurely. Right. So my point is, why do people die? What is the reason for death? So our, hey, from from your understanding, what is the reason from death? What is the reason for death? Yeah. Why do people die? Like why did God not create us immortal? Uh, why do people die? God did not create us immortal because immortality is only in the hereafter. Do you believe there's immortality in the hereafter? Yeah, right now. You can get it right now. And that's only through Jesus Christ is what the Bible says. Is the Bible says for the one who has a son has life, the one who does not have the son okay. doesn't have life. So we agree that your soul is immortal, but your body mm -hmm. is Your immortal. body dies. Why? Why does your body die? My body is just a vehicle for my soul. Right. So but I, I did, so do you think Whenever, if you go back to the Garden of Eden, did God create Adam and Eve to die? He created Adam and Eve to be worshipped. To be worshipped. Okay, but did he create them to die? No, he created them to worship. Right, so what caused them to die? Sin. Well, sin. Well, 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 sin is the reason why I'm about to fast up. Happens. Facts. The Bible says the, uh, the way to the sin, sin is, is death. death. Facts. And, and so that's my, that's my point is that the Bible says for the wages of sin is death for death came death came by one man through one man through Adam and it says death spread to all men because right. of sin and because of everybody's sin the Bible says we're all far short of the glory of God everybody. that's the reason why we die and the Bible says if you die in your sin he says the soul that sins shall die Amen. and if you die I'm, I'm going to okay. say this real quick he says and you, I love how you brought that verse up for the wages of sin is death right. God says he is holy righteous and just he will pay you in, in hell that's how he pays for because he's holy righteous and just but he says I find no pleasure in anybody dying in the sins because the other half of that Bible verse the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus so Jesus says this Jesus said I'm the way the truth of life no man gets to the father except through me and you're only going to experience life by having a son by having Jesus and he said you can have that life now you don't have to wait because he says he'll give you the confidence now what I the Bible says well that's what the scripture says well I don't believe in the scripture well, oh well I'm sorry about that yeah, if you're reaching to a lot of people 100% you have to understand where I come from yeah Before you start telling me oh this is this level because that's what the Zionists came to Palestine told us the book says this land is ours and we're gonna kill you all because you're Amalek and we're gonna kill, kill you all Amalek uh, and if, if just, are you saying nowadays yeah are you, that's what they're saying right now that's well I'm telling you what I'm telling you what the Bible says the Bible says that God says he finds no pleasure in anybody dying in their sins 
is that the he says, for God so loved the New Testament God. There's a both. God is the same yesterday, today, and forever is what the Bible says. Because God says, I looked over the ignorance of all men. All men. I looked over the ignorance of all. He says, today is the day to repent. I know you're passionate about it. You know what I mean? But if Jesus was sitting here today, mm -hmm. right, would he be first healing the wounds of people? 100%. Then talking to them? So how does it... talking to people while they're still wounded? How did you talk to them? Because Jesus didn't come in for the righteous. Jesus, the Bible says Jesus came here to sit with sinners. He says, I didn't come in for the healthy. I came in for the sick. I agree. But, you know what I mean? But he wiped the feet of the sick before he started telling them about his message, didn't he? No. Oh, so... It was the opposite first. Because the very first words of his ministry was to repent and believe in the gospel. We get that from the gospel of Mark. He said, that was his very first words, to repent, to turn away from sin. Because that's the reason why we're like this. He says, turn from your... Because what the rule it is, is turning from unbelief to belief in Jesus. Jesus for all people. Jesus for all people. God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. That whoever believes in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. So that's why he died for the sins of the whole world. Everybody. But that's the thing. I don't think sin flows down. Like, there's the original... Sin? Yeah, I don't I mean, we have our own sin. We have our own sins, right? But I don't think God is so vengeful that a single sin is worth... It. He has to. He says, a soul that sins shall die. He says, if you're guilty of breaking one law, you're guilty of breaking all the laws. And my God is more merciful than that. But it's not, but I'm no disrespect, but when it comes to Allah, He'll allow you to live your life however you want. Does He not? Does He judge you for sin? Does He judge sinners? Yeah. Right? He does. And I have to repent. So how do you? How does he judge a sinner? I have to repent. Every so how does it judge him? How is he judging? How is that a judgment? What is a judgment? A judgment is if I come on the day of judgment without repenting for my sin, I'm penalized for it. So Jesus, he said, I pay for the sins. He said, if he, if he says, the person who comes to me, I will wipe away all their sins from east to the west. And this is Old Testament God. This is what he's been saying. I, I agree, but even you're saying I'm saying that God, he has to punish sin. Because he, he, he has to, because a lot of people think you can come to God on your own terms. You think, uh, just because if I say... A lot of people do think... They right, do just because that. I say I'm sorry right. after doing whatever sin, and then be like, and like, you know what, just because I'm sorry, and then you go live your life. No, God is not like that because God is just. He has to punish sin. He has, he, he's not going to just let you slide because he's if, he's if he lets you slide... Let me ask you this, let me ask you this, and this is... Great illustration. Let's say somebody came into your house at night. I don't know if you're married or not, but let's say you are. They killed your wife and your kids. Okay. Let's say you called the police. They come over. Okay. They arrest the guy. Throw him in prison until he has to wait trial to see the judge. Now he's standing before the judge a couple months later. And you're there. You're waiting to hear the sentence. And the judge says this. Hey, man, because I'm a loving, per I'm a loving judge and I'm very merciful, I forgive you. And he lets him go scot free. How would you feel? Well, I wouldn't feel right about that. How about how what would you say? What would you think about that judge? Well, if you let the murderer go scot free after murdering your family. Well, if you're and all he's on and all he said, I'm sorry. Yeah, but well, I would feel bad. But you're trying to drive a point that doesn't compare it because God, there are sins against people and there are sins against God. If I drink. That's a sin against God. God will punish me for it unless I repent. If I hit you and I and you don't forgive me, then I will be punished for it no matter what. But I'm saying, is he is that judge just to let him go? No, but that judge right. Is not so God. he's right. No, no, no. Right. My example. That's that's right. his answer. That's what I'm saying. That's my. It doesn't matter if he's God or not. It's a point. It's a fact that it's the same illustration that goes to God. If God allows sin to just if allows sinners to do whatever they want for no punishment for their sins, then He's not just. They will be punished, but they may go on and live their life. But something. Is but no, but what I'm saying is that you. But the, 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 the issue is this: a lot of people think you can get your sins forgiven by doing good works, huh. by doing a good thing, by sin you know. Sin but your sins, but you're good, right? But you're good, never always you're bad. A lot of people think you got to be a good person to get to God. And that's, a, so that's not what the Bible teaches. It says you're incapable because he says all of our righteous deeds are filthy rags to God. No matter how good you might think you are, you're so tainted with sin.
And that's the reason that's the reason why Jesus came in to cleanse us of our sins. If we put our trust and faith in him, because it's not us, it's not our life in Christ. 